This is probably gonna sound crazy, but I decided that I'm switching from my 14 Pro Max down to what is probably the most hated iPhone since the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. This is the iPhone 14 Plus. You're probably wondering why the heck would anybody wanna switch down from the 14 Pro Max to the 14 Plus, knowing everything that we know about the 14 Plus now. So number one, it's using last year's chip instead of the new updated A16 Bionic, but when I think about it, if I were to put my 12 Pro, which has the A13 or A14 Bionic beside my 14 Pro Max, the performance difference would be negligible. Like the average person, matter of fact, I would vote that nobody would be able to tell the difference between the two of them, at least for the next couple of years. Now, another thing that people tend to bring up between these two devices is that the 14 Plus costs just $100 less than the 14 Pro, so why not upgrade? My argument to that is the fact that I'm able to pay $100 less to get a larger screen. So if all that you're worried about is having a nice big screen, you like that screen real estate, then why bother paying the extra money? And I already know now you're thinking, well, why not just pay the extra 200 and move up to the 14 Pro Max? And again, for the average person, there's a lot of reasons why you might be happy with just that 14 Plus. In no particular order, some of the reasons that I like are the fact that the 14 Plus is made out of aluminum instead of stainless steel, so it is much lighter in the hand. Another reason is that we know that the 13 Pro Max was a battery beast, and so having that 14 Plus with the same Bionic chipset as the older 13 Pro Max with less features and less things to drain the battery in it, we know that the 14 Plus is gonna have the best battery out of the entire 14 lineup. Obviously you're missing out on two brand new features that Apple introduced this year. You're not gonna get that always on display and you're also gonna miss out on the Dynamic Island. I've actually been using the 14 Pro Max since launch and I can say that while the Dynamic Island is cool, it's definitely not something that I feel I need to have. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of times when I'm watching videos and whatever else that I kind of wish that it wasn't there and that they went back to just the same notch setup. And that same old notch setup is what the 14 Plus has. It's tried, it's tested, it's true. And we know that the majority of people that use it actually do enjoy it. Now, as far as the always on display goes, being someone who is a huge Android fan, that is gonna be a very hard feature to give up. I don't know how you all use your phones, but I just love having mine sitting on a desk. I can quickly check what the time is. I can check what my notifications are without having to pick the phone up every second just to do those simple tasks. So that's definitely gonna be a feature that I miss. However, I think what's most important to the majority of people when it comes to their cell phone is, is it able to take good photos and does it have great battery life? And I'm pretty sure that the 14 Plus is gonna have both of those things. So I'm gonna be switching or downgrading to the 14 Plus for at least the next week or so, just to see how much I like it, see if I miss any features. The whole camera lens thing of not having that telephoto lens isn't gonna bother me, even though I create a lot of my content with my iPhone. I find that the majority of the time I'm either shooting ultra wide or wide anyways. I don't really tend to use the telephoto too much when it comes to content and even just taking leisurely photos, I, for whatever reason, avoid 2X and 3X zoom. So if you're somebody who's on the fence about whether you should be grabbing the 14 Plus or the 14 Pro Max, feel free to hit that subscribe button because in the next week or so, I will be posting my update as to whether I feel like the 14 Plus or the 14 Pro Max is the best phone for somebody that's coming from one of the older generations of iPhone and wanting to move up to the most recent. So that's it for me. Much love as always. Throwing up just one this time and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.